Hello, this is Nick and welcome to my channel. So today I want to share with you how to clean your stamps. So if you've noticed, I've been doing a lot of stamping this week. So I figured, so after you've bought your stamps, used your stamps, how do you clean them? I've been asked this question in Bujo PH and I did do a quick um, tutorial on my everything you need to know about clear stamps video. I'll link to that video down below. Um, but here's a quicker one in case you don't want to watch through the entire thing. And this is how you clean your stamps. So you need, there are several ways to clean it. My favorite way is actually to use, and I've, I have here everything that you need to, you need. Plus another method, which is, I will show you later. So, but if you're on your desk, these are the things that you might need. So you need eat a liquid to... To help remove the dirt or the inks so you can either use a, um, a stamp cleaner or water or some people use 40% alcohol I do not recommend using 40% alcohol especially if you use rubber stamps because it tends to dry out your stamps I don't think there is an issue with silicone because I don't think silicone is that porous or as porous as rubber so it doesn't dry out as fast as rubber it's a concern when you're using rubber because it might dry out. So that's the special, uh, so that's why there are special stamp cleaners that you can use to clean your stamps because it removes the dirt but also conditions your stamp so that it doesn't dry out. Because when it dries out, you know how when rubber is dry, it will just crumble. So there, so that's why it's recommended to use stamp cleaners but you absolutely don't have to use stamp cleaners. And then there's also water. When you're in a pinch, you can use water. It doesn't clean as effective as stamp cleaners do but you can definitely use water if you don't have anything else. And there's also this special mix of stamp cleaners. You can find recipes online on how to use, on how to make your own stamp cleaners. The easiest is to, is um, water and baby soap. I tried that recipe. It's not that, if it's, it is effective. It's more effective than water, but it's not that effective. Um, but it does get the job done and you can just deep clean afterwards like after a month or so or if you're if you heavily stamped or you're just annoyed that your stamps are really dirty deep cleaning video i will share after this bit because i filmed that way 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 back and i just didn't upload it it's a very quick video but after all of these i'll, I'll play that video okay so i have here three dirty stamps and i will show you the three methods to clean them so you have your uh, you have your liquid here. You, you can use several types of rugs to clean it. You can use a scrubbing pad like this one. Mine is dirty. This is one of the best ways to clean your stamp because of because there's it has a scrub. So you can just rub your stamp across and it will clean it. Most of the nook and crannies of your stamp, especially detailed ones like this, will be cleaned very well. My problem with this one is that it easily gets dirty. So if you're stamping heavily, this will get dirty really, really fast. This is washable. You can remove this and wash it. So that's what I've been doing. This one is dirty. So when I reactivate it, when I pour my clear stamp, my clean, my stamp cleaning solution on it, this ink will activate. And when I rub my stamps, it'll actually get it more dirty than it should. I'll probably try cleaning on the parts where it's not that dirty. And also, some inks do stain permanently, so that's the case here. I have permanent spots that are black. And this part here is where I attempted to use hydrogen peroxide because it's a milder bleach, but it did burn. So that part, I'm not able to use so much anymore. There, so this is one stamp scrubbing pad. I bought this from Happy Scrappy or Bessie Del Rosario David on um, Papi H or Planners and journals planner addicts philippines something like that i'll link to the group down below i bought it there this is 600 pesos or you can use this this is a piece of chamois or chamois i don't know how do you pronounce it it's c-h-a-m-o-i-s it's the cloth that you use for cleaning cars i bought this from japan home or daiso i forgot it's 88 pesos it's a big rug i just cut a piece of it and this is that piece so it's you can see it's very dirty so there so i have permanent stains here when i use stays on and some other permanent inks so 
Yeah, but this one is one of my favorite ways to clean because you don't have to wash this as much as you have to wash this. And this gets, this is, since this has a lot of friction, it really does clean your stamp and it also dries your stamp after. And then you can use um, rugs. I use this or this. I prefer this one for cleaning stamps because it has, um, this one's very old, but it has those tiny things. Like it's a scrub. It can scrub, it can help scrub your stamps. So, and then you can just wash it. Or you can use this. Mine's very dirty. I haven't washed this ever. And just clean it. This is smooth, so it's not very ideal for cleaning. You can clean it, but it not, since it doesn't have that that much friction or that or the scrubbing parts, it doesn't clean as well as this or this or this. And then the last one, this one is baby wipes, and this is actually one of the best cleaners out there. Like it's magic. It removes, um, it removes the ink so well, except for maybe stays on and Ranger. But it's so great. The only downside is that this is disposable. So every time you stamp, you take one and then just throw it away. It's kind of um, bad for the environment. What you can do though is save it. You can reactivate it with water. Although again, water is not that effective. You can. Once it's dry, you can put stamp cleaner on it and use it again. That's also fine. That's what I do. And I actually save some of the of the baby wipes that I use on my kids. Like when we're out and I, I need to wipe them and they're not the wipe is not that dirty. Like I just wipe their hand or their face because it's oily or something. I just use it again. And when I have time, I wash them. So at least I get more out of it. So here's a used baby wipe. See, it's not that used. So just keep them and reactivate them. I put them inside an old um, baby wipe case so that they don't get lost and don't get thrown out accidentally. And when they're very dirty, I just throw them out because I have a lot of these. So anyway, so that is um, the tools that you will need to clean your stamp. So to cleaning, um, I can demo some of them maybe I'll demo it here here and here because these are the ones that's easily accessible to everyone and then just put this there so baby wipe first here's a stamp that I've used and clean it cleaning the cleaning the it's acrylic pad because I stamped put ink there so here just scrub it away need to use um, force to clean it especially because I've stamped this a while it sat here for like a few minutes already so just there and I think some of the stain is behind it Okay, don't ask me how I got the ink there. So there. So it's not very clean as in like it's brand new because if you want to do that, you have to you have to deep clean. So that is how you clean using um, baby wipe. And then let's just ink this again so that you can see it in action with the other, other cloths. Okay, now I will use, uh, I'll do this. This side, I will use this one, and this side, I will use water. So let's use water first. So wet it there, saturate it, and just clean it like that. Again, you need to use force because ink is sticking there and there, it's clean. There, You can hear the squeaking sound, it's because there's friction so it does get a lot of the dirt out and it's easier than this one. And then you can just stamp it somewhere else to dry. And then stamp it one more time. 
it roof because it's wet. So that's also the thing when you're cleaning your stamps. It does move around when the liquid seeps under the stamp when you clean it. So, but that's okay. So I'll put um, some stamp cleaner there. And oops, let's just use my hands. there so again it's clean it's faster and quicker oops with stamp cleaner because again the stamp cleaner has properties that help clean it so let's use it here this side with stamp cleaner uh -oh. and the other side with water let's just pour some with water it's best if you saturate it really well versus with stamp cleaner you can actually use less cleaner okay so let's do this with water I have to press harder to get the ink out oh. but it does get the job done stamp cleaner there done done and the problem with using this rug is that you get bits of cloth in it or dirt which you don't get with this one and this one unless this one's the okay, best so next is I guess let's use this one because this one's smaller so it's easier so this has ink so again let's use baby wipe My baby wipes a little dry already because it's been sitting there for a while. But it you can do get you can get it out. Not just not as clean. Okay. Just really have to work it. Okay, not very clean, but you know, I get an idea. It's kinda clean. And it's hard to clean the, the nooks and crannies. And then next is, let's ink it up. Next, we'll use the chamois. I'm sorry, I, I call it chamois. That's how I pronounce it. Correct me. Let me know in the comments how to pronounce it right. So, we are doing this side. This is water. Yeah, you can hear it squeak, squeak, squeak. And then, there, that's clean. You can... <clears throat> You can use your fingernails to actually dig through the lines or use the edge to clean. So that's also possible. But for the purposes of this um, tutorial, I won't do that anymore because it takes time to do that. And I don't want to take so much time. You have to use your nails to dig through the dirt there. See? But it is possible. But you'll have dirty nails after. So there, not that clean, but again, this is detailed. So you want, usually with detailed stamps, you'll want to deep clean them when you find it too dirty for your taste. Okay. Next is stamp cleaner. You see how quick it removes the ink? Same um, concept with same concept with this one if you want to remove the dirt in between you have to use your fingernails although using um, stamp cleaner you actually get more dirt out instead of just water so you get more dirt out of it 
so it's cleaner so there so there but it is you, you need to deep clean it less or it it doesn't leave as much residue why did i remove that it'll dry so there just rub it rub it rub 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 this should get more dirt out because again it has you can you can use it to scrub so there so see clean not that clean but it does get the job done and again because this is water so it's a little harder to do that it's a little hard to remove the gunk out let's try it using stamp cleaner this one's a little dry do too but it's effective there see how quick that is remove most of the dirt So, and then if you want to just deep clean it, just use your finger like here. But there, it's done. Scrub it some more. If you want, like how you did it with this one. But again, you can see how it's faster. It gets the dirt out faster if you use the stamp cleaner. But again, it's not required. If you're just starting out, you don't have to buy it. Or you can just make your own. There's a lot of recipes available online. So there. This one, in case you're curious, I actually make this and s I used to sell this. I don't actively sell anymore, but if you are curious, I still have a few in stock. I can sell or maybe whip something out. Or you can um, you can buy from Craft Pretty PH Craft Pretty Craft Pretty Shop Craft Pretty Shop. She's on Shopee, Facebook, Instagram. She carries my stamp cleaners. I just consign them to her. So, there. And then, now let's move on to deep cleaning, which is when you have all these residue there on your stamp, how do you clean them out? You actually just need um, a, an old toothbrush and dishwashing liquid. And I will show you how to clean it. Hi, this is Nick and welcome to my channel. So today, we're in my bathroom and we're going to clean the... A clear stamp so let me show you how to deep clean your clear stamps your photopolymer stamps because they're a little harder to clean than the acrylic versions so I want to show you how to clean them using a toothbrush and a dish soap this is safe to do safe to use for your for your stamps I usually deep clean them when they're really dirty or when I'm not feeling lazy so I usually clean my stamps using my stamp cleaner but for stuff like that are a little hard to remove like like look here it's stained I went over this on my cleaning on my stamp cleaner my my cleaning cloth and my stamp scrubber and it's still like this so I'm gonna try and clean it with dish soap and see what happens if it's gonna take out the stain because I used Ranger archival ink on this and that stuff is nasty it just stains everything so let me try if dish soap removes this if it's not it's fine but you can also use this method even if you're if it's not permanently stained and you just want to clean deep clean your stamps you can do this or if you have like if you stamp and you didn't clean your stamp and it's and the it hardened the ink hardened on your stamp it's fine you can just clean it using this method or if you just like me you want to clean it and the, it, I don't know I'm just feeling a little not lazy today so I'm doing this and let's get started so it took me a while to figure out how to film this here but anyway here's my sink and here's an old toothbrush that I have and so just trying to scrub it to see if it gets any better looks like it does because my scrubber is a little dirty so this one already got better but I usually clean my clear stamps using dish soap you can also use like regular soap or not not the bar soap but at least something liquid so you want soap so you know you just clean this up loosen any color I would not recommend using bleach or 
um, what do you call this, hydrogen peroxide on this because it will dry out your stamps. I also do not recommend using alcohol because that can also dry out your stamp. So anyway, you can do this to deep clean, especially for stamps that have a lot of details like this one. So sometimes you get like um, ink stuck in the, in the nooks and crannies of these and then sometimes like the cleaning cloth, the cleaning rag that I have has like small bits that get taken out every time I use it. So sometimes they also lodge in between those. So using a brush is a really good way to take those out. So looks like it's not taking out the Ranger ink, but that's fine. At least now it is deep cleaned. So just let's just make sure that all all of the all of the soap is gone. So it did get better. Loads better. Yay! So I guess this is what I'm gonna do with my ranger. Anything that I stamped with ranger. I'll have to deep clean. So there, and then if ever you have um, you have acrylic stamps or clear stamps rather, not not just acrylic, but any clear stamp that is not sticking well to the back of your anything, your acrylic block or something, you, you can. But this one's sticking really well. But just in case it wasn't, you can clean this stuff, the back part there, and just let it dry. Don't wipe it with anything, if possible, like let it dry in a place where there's not a lot of dust. Or clean it with a cloth that doesn't have dust so that it will be smooth again. So there. So you see here, it's now clean. And that is how you deep clean your clear stamps. Thank you for watching. Bye!